Welcome back to this episode of Exotic Industries. Now I have some of this simulation data or... Is that the name? Yes. And I still need to probably add more power or storage for power. I guess I will wait one night and in the meantime try to increase my red circuit output. And I will also take a look at solar panels. I have a few more. Maybe I might just place those just to be safe. And then I hopefully can have a few calmer nights with less power problems. I wonder if I will be able to drive and build at the same time. I guess one problem is that the car can't be dismantled while it contains some stuff. I hope I'll just not drive too far off the line like that. Difficult to initially get the angle correct and not overcorrect. So there are some tree corpses. I guess I can kill those, since they are already sort of dead. They probably don't help a lot with the pollution. I still have some accumulators that I could place there. I guess eventually I might try to put more of these normal solar panels into the energized solar panel factory and then I will figure out whether or I should figure out whether there's anything else holding up this production. I might still be able to make one row of solar panels. Not sure how long one of these rows is. I should try to put solar panels and accumulators on the hotbar, at least on one of the hotbars. And I could switch between them quickly. So I guess that's enough for now. I might just take a look. Or maybe I still don't have enough solar production. But I guess I will deal with that a little bit later. First I will try increasing my potential for red circuits. Since there still isn't enough production overall.
eventually I hope that I can produce uh, productivity modules and that will then help with not using up all the resources and not uh, well, just producing, producing more of these solar uh, well maybe also solar panels but especially red circuits sometimes confused with all the tasks I have to do Okay, now I have to switch hotbars again. I was a bit confused where my hotbar went. Five. I guess it would really be nice to soon be able to make robots build all of these things instead of having to build all of these things myself. Can I use a red belt here? I don't think it will be entirely necessary. But maybe soon I can replace this insulated cable belt, I guess. Yeah, there's already a red belt until that point. Maybe I don't really need the red belt there, but I will do it anyway. For future potential throughput. And now I need to check, I guess, yeah, it's just those belts coming out that way. And then I need another piece of power pole somewhere. This is a little bit more, it's still not enough. I guess I will look up productivity modules module core module part so this might be a little bit complicated I need to check whether I can already do that I guess so it might just take a while to set this up but it shouldn't be too difficult so this is hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas. Hydrogen is just water separated. Nitrogen is coming in from an air filter. And then there's also liquid nitrogen. And now I have unlocked this uh, simulation computer age technology pack. That's an interesting long name. And that one needs ammonia eventually. I'm not sure whether I will need to do this soon or right away. Might also put efficiency on the line. I wonder when these things will be useful and when I can just get knowledge this is a different kind of science progression, I guess. There's all kind of plutonium stuff or thorium. Very interesting. I guess I have to get into uranium processing soon. But for now, I guess I might try to... Yeah, I want to look at these solar panel production lines. I guess they just would like to have more solar panels. And then I can make more better solar panels eventually. I guess when I go up again, 
to the solar field, I'll just try to replace the old solar panels. I guess this is quite fast, except that I need more better inserters here. And I guess while I wait for these solar panels to be produced, I might just start on these module cores. Uh, I guess it's good to build things up here, since down there it's already a bit further to the right. Module part. I guess two factories should be good for now. I guess I can always extend this if necessary. Ratios say I should put ceramic on the longer or on the uh, single belt and then gold powder and electronic parts on the other side, I would say. Where do I get ceramic parts? Or do I get them at all? I think I should have them somewhere. Maybe I need to take another look at the whole bus or wherever I'm producing those. Oh yes, they should just be there with the glass. And I think since I need industrial glass for the module core itself, I might just fully get this um, this belt up. And I don't need weird uh, splitting and sorting mechanics. I wonder why I did this. Maybe I wanted to introduce something there and then I didn't need that anymore. So for now I will replace that. Let's go without hurting this. I should be almost there. Okay, now I will just do this and go up. And then I will take a look whether I actually made a blueprint of this. I didn't yet make a blueprint and now I want to do that because this is something I made a tutorial on, so I should be good at this actually. Let's say 11 and then minus five. Um, almost, so oh, this should work. I guess I still need to split this up there, but at least up to this point I have gotten both of these things. Ceramics, these ones, and then this will go there. And the glass can just go to the right for now. Not yet sure where all of this will go. Module 4. 
This one is called module part. So this just needs an additional energy crystal together with these two things. Okay, uh, this still needs the electronic parts, I think, and crushed gold. Crushed gold is there. Energy crystals are here. And this will, for now, just go on a belt, but then also in a chest temporarily, and I can always switch the direction of the inserter later, once I decide where this needs to go. In the meantime, I should get the crushed gold and, I guess, something else later. Somewhere about here. Okay, this is one thing. I was thinking about doing it like this. Luckily, I have this blueprint. And then I can just connect this eventually. Still need the electronic parts. They need to come in from the left there. Yes, I can already do that. Where are those electronic parts now? Oh, they are these ones, the grey, bluish ones. Need to find a good way through here. How do I do this? And why are there these two belts? Okay, I think I will do a down and up. Just to have it easier. Oops. This should still work. And now I should have these module parts, and then the module cores. Will they arrive? Yes. And... It takes... I guess four seconds, but maybe the time will be stretched when... I don't have enough power, but at least this day the solar panels could relax in the evening a bit, and then the accumulators hopefully have enough charge. And now there are these module cores. And I can just look at what to do with these. I need advanced circuits. 
just in an assembler. Maybe these module cores can go into a or onto the bus. Don't really see the productivity module. Maybe it's somewhere else. Okay, it was somewhere in this tab. Okay, yes, it's just one, so I wouldn't have recognized it by a lot of different modules. Still need to unlock the other ones. Okay, now I will turn this around. And this needs power. I will run out of power poles soon. And I need to get red circuits. They are just down there. Guess I could already prepare the underground belts. Maybe I'll keep some of the red circuits since I might need them. And this will just go into chests for now. Maybe two stacks per chest. And then I will have my first productivity modules. Thank you very much. I guess I might try to increase the amount of these module parts. Except that I'm lacking power poles for now. Do I have other ones? I might just temporarily place this there, just to make this work. So now the module parts should not lag so much. And maybe now I can improve the production of the module production. I guess I didn't need to say improve production there because module production is already the correct word. But anyway, this basically is now a feedback loop. The more productivity I add there, the better everything goes. But eventually I will also have to do the same thing to red circuits and to all of the constituent parts of red circuits. But this is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.